welcome back to the channel guys so it's been a while since I posted had some things I needed to sort out and uh, the last three weeks around here we've had a series of big storms so I haven't been able to really go anywhere do anything uh, the storms have been bad enough that we've had some major flooding we've had road collapses um, just a lot of mudslides and just everything so hitting the trails and going out I had something bigger planned I wanted to do something which I'm, uh, I'm gonna have to postpone um, because the the roads are probably not safe to drive they may they may not even be there at this point um, so but I've been working all week and I need to get out of town so let's go to it up Whew. it's a beautiful night it's so nice out there uh, so I made myself uh, a mountain house uh, chicken and rice it's really good well uh, <laughs> having some technical difficulties tonight my camera keeps stopping recording and I don't know why anyway um, mountain house meals they're good I do recommend I have something better planned for tomorrow night you have to wait and see for that mm. okay anyway I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna finish this up and I will check in with you guys in a little bit Okay, so I figured out what was happening with the camera. Uh, I had uh, speech control on, and every time I said stop, it stopped recording. So, turned that off. <laughs> figured that out. Okay, so um, just to give you guys uh, an update. Um, I am living full-time in my truck. Um, I do have a job. It is. <clears throat> I have, the last several months have uh, been difficult, uh, very stressful. Um, almost lost everything again, but uh, I hung in there. I guess um, any plan I had, all of my ideas to try and dig myself out of the hole. Every time I had an idea to do something, it failed like every single time and I kept having to adapt 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 so I gave up trying to make plans and I just went well this is happening this is happening and I would just react to whatever was happening at the time um, anyway um, so uh, I am living full-time in my truck and I actually like it to be honest um, it, it, it's taken some getting used to, you know, learning to find places to sleep at night and things like that. But uh, I've made some changes to the truck to make them more comfortable with the curtains. Um, <clears throat> yeah, you, you may have noticed uh, the reflectors on the windows. This is temporary. Uh, I do have curtains. Uh, I, I bought curtains for these windows, uh, but I couldn't find them in the right height right length but not the right height uh, a friend of mine uh, Rachel thank you very much is kindly um, 
uh, helping me with that. Um, she's a fantastic person with her hands of fabrication and whatnot. And she's going to alter the curtains so that I can uh, do the side curtains too. Um, copying an, an idea from uh, another YouTuber. You guys may have heard of him, Crazy Coity. So I'm gonna put curtain rods on the top and the bottom of the windows. <clears throat> and that's why I need them shortened so that they fit the window rails so that they slide back and forth. Otherwise, if you notice, you know, the windows are slanted. Um, if, if I just put the top rail on, it would just hang right here. So that's no good and get in the way. So they'll be back there. Um, so I've got, I took the screws out from the frame. I uh, got some clips, um, and I've just got these up, and I tie them together with Velcro, um, just to strap around. So if I want to put them out of the way, I can just. Well, normally they would stick up like that. Um, I don't need to get this one out of the way too much, but like sometimes this one, you can see I've got it stuck to the side there, so it's out of the way. Uh, and then when I don't want them. When I, uh, when I don't want the straps on, I want, want the curtains, unzip them, stick the strap to the ceiling, and we're good. Um, I don't need them at the moment, I suppose. Um, the blackout curtains, uh, I wanted to put them up because, um, like, right now, even though the windows have the ceramic tint on them, and they're very dark, when the lights are off, you can't see anything in here. But at night, with the lights on, you can see everything on. And everyone's looking in, they can see me and everything I'm doing. So no privacy when that happens. So if I'm sleeping around town in a parking, parking lot, it's best to be concealed. Um, <clears throat> so these are blackout curtains. And they're really nice, actually. They're not too expensive. Um, <clears throat> but uh, tonight... Uh, you can't see but um, the coast is out that way and I'm on the edge of sort of a, a rock ledge that goes down about 20 feet um, so I don't need really to put these closed um, so I picked this spot I'm surprised that there's not more people here because uh, people come here to watch sunsets and I came here when it was dark so maybe some people already showed up uh, and left. Sunset about 5.30 tonight, and it sets right there. If you park up here, because we're fairly high, there's, a, there's farmland below us, and then it's just coast. And the sun sets, like, right over here. Um, actually, it's somewhere, like, about there. But sitting outside or with this open, you get, like, this beautiful panoramic view. It's just stunning. And tonight... The, um, can you hear how quiet that is? Every once in a while a car goes by, but it's really quiet. The sky is completely clear and there's no wind and that's unusual because normally we get a bunch of wind up here. Uh, so this is like the calm after the storm because we, we've just had three weeks of ridiculous weather. Um, <clears throat> just absolutely horrible. I mean... Roads have been collapsing, mudslides, flood, 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 flood. So many, oh, so much damage. And anyway, that's why I'm not going further afield. I had another plan I wanted to do, uh, but the roads out there, I, they may not even be there at the moment. So I'm waiting a little while so I can maybe, uh, if I can look online, some of the, it, there a lot of people go up there uh, and hopefully I can do some research and and people might be start reporting that the roads are open up there and then we can go but this is a really nice spot um, when I first found it uh, a bunch of van lifers and stuff would park out here for the night because it's a really nice spot and you know nobody bothers you but tonight we're alone there's no one here so one of the things I wanted to uh, w go over here, uh, a lot of people may not realize, but when you're camping in a truck, uh, your body gives off a lot of moisture as you sleep and when you're talking and all of that. So it's a fairly closed uh, 
room, small room, uh, and, and I've I've got this pretty sealed off. I've done a lot of work to it, trying to get to stop the rain getting in, because I've had leaks and stuff. Um, so uh, I've I've applied RTV here, there, everywhere. I put new seals on your gaskets on. Well, not gaskets, but per se, but just sealing up everywhere I could, and I've got it pretty well sealed up. So. If I close this backsliding window right, right here, it's pretty, air, well, not airtight, but it's pretty tight in here. So, um, right before Christmas, we had a cold snap, and I was in the truck, and the, the temperature at night would drop down fast. So, I hadn't slept in the truck in, in freezing temperatures uh, before, so I just closed the window to keep it warm. And then I discovered just how much humidity the human body causes in a in a closed space, and it got pretty bad actually. Um, everything was wet, all the surfaces, all the countertops got got wet, and something even more bad happened that I didn't realize. So the foam mattress I've got, if you've watched the other videos, I've talked about it. I, I had a uh, memory topper uh, um, foam, which I still have, uh, but it's four inches. And I ended up putting a, a piece of two inch foam um, under that because it wasn't quite thick enough. Uh, and then I put uh, a waterproof cover that zipped up a case all around it. Because, you know, I figured, you know, I'm going to sweat and, and I don't want that soaking into the, the foam. With all the condensation, somehow it got in to that case and then couldn't leave. And it all settled underneath that bottom piece of foam. And when I was rearranging the truck one day, I wanted to do some work and I pulled it out, unzipped it. Mold. Uh, to combat future um, condensation I wanted a dehumidifier so after some research I found on Amazon a USB dehumidifier and so it's USB so it's um, 5 volts 2 amps so it only pulls 10 watts and this is it and while it doesn't completely dehumidify it makes a big difference and it's pretty quiet so if I turn it on it's so it's it's pretty quiet you, hopefully you can hear that but so leaving it running all night it doesn't take too much power and it's just a little bit of white noise in the background and then in the morning I've got a couple of ounces of water in, in the in the chamber here so uh, if you guys need me to put a link to any of this stuff in the uh, description just let me know and I can add those um, anyway it's almost margarita time I have me a cut water margarita lime margarita it's made with their own tequila and it's got triple sec in it um it's not sweetened you know uh i don't like the margaritas that are sugary they, they just they make you feel ill <laughs> it's just too much sugar so uh this one is more on the uh the the sour side you know it's got the lime in it and the triple sec just makes it a little sweeter um it's really good though um one can that's a whole lot of margarita too <laughs> They come in a pack of four, so I bought a pack of four. Anyway, guys, I'm going to, uh, I think, start getting ready for bed here. Um, <clears throat> I'll see you in a little bit. Uh, cheers, everybody. Mm. Don't you too wish that you could drink margarita in bed? <laughs> all right well I'm gonna settle down um, I'm gonna watch my show I'm gonna finish my margarita 
I'll see you all in the morning. Well, good morning, guys. Uh, it's around 9 a.m. I've been up for a little bit. Um, you can see, I'll show you a, a better view of this in a second, but uh, you can see what the bay is like out there in the ocean. Uh, slept well. We uh, check in time with the campsite is around 2 p.m. It's 9 a.m. right now, so I've got about five hours. It's about a two hour drive up there. So uh, I'm going to head out in a second here and look for someone to get breakfast. Uh, ordinarily I would cook, but not here. And I kind of want to sit and relax with my food a little bit. So I'm going to uh, head out and find a, a diner or something and uh, have some breakfast and then we'll head up the coast. Sitting there. 